Oh, we have a lot of great people here tonight. My little sister's in town, and she uh, just told me she's pregnant, so that's cool. She's married, so it is good news. <laughs> so I was thinking, what can I do for this child to have an impact on, on his or her life? I'm like, okay, I could buy a, like a $500 college savings bond. In 18 years, it'd be worth $524. <laughs> Pay for like an hour of college. <laughs> so I've got a better idea. I'm going to go to Vegas here next month during March Madness, put it all on Kentucky to win. <laughs> if we win, that kid's going to be great. It's a set. If not, it'll be a lesson. Well, you shouldn't gamble away your college money. <laughs> You're going to need to study the target. <laughs> My CPA is here. If any of you need a good CPA, I'll give you his name. Craig, he's so by the book. He was telling me, oh, he asked me, Mark, where did you get this number of your mileage reduction? I'm like, oh, the same place everybody else. I make up a reasonable number at the end of the year. <laughs> he said, no, you need to log this every week throughout the year. <laughs> Michael, I do not have time to make up a number every week all year. <laughs> That's kooky, man. Kooky. <laughs> We have to have this quantified, substantiated. I'm like, okay, it's got to be tied to something. It has to be tied to something. Okay, let's tie it to how often I disappoint somebody. Is 75,000 miles a lot to drive in a year? <laughs> My banker's here, great guy. Uh, but there's nothing funny about bankers, sorry. <laughs> He's really good. He, uh, he told me I need to beef up security measures in our company because he was worried about identity theft. I'm like, dude, you've seen my numbers. If somebody steals my identity, the joke's on them. <laughs> Good luck with this. <laughs> Final notice, my ass. <laughs> Reminds me when you're a kid, your dad's like, I'm not going to tell you again. Good. Quite <laughs> something here about it. Thank you. You guys are probably better people than me. I don't pray enough for things like, you know, these kids finding good homes and all that. I'll pray for stuff like, please God, don't let me get a huge cold sore or the wig of the show. <laughs> so that worked. He gave me this huge pimple on my head instead. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but my wife's so sweet. She's like, just imagine that everyone's staring at the part of your face that doesn't have a huge blemish on it. <laughs> my, wife's the sweet, my wife's the sweetest lady ever. I, I married way up. Uh, uh, it's a good thing to know. Kids, you get a chance. <laughs> well, I'm really happy to marry. Uh, she's not really at all. <laughs> I told her, dude, you should have kept your standards a lot like I did. <laughs> <laughs> and to her parents, they should have taught her a little bit of self respect so she didn't end up in this situation, right? <laughs> They're partially to blame, too. It's the upbringing. <laughs> They're the sweetest people ever. Uh, my mother-in-law, you know, like your own family, it's really hard to impress. And I figured out why, as we all, we all peek out really, like, by the time I was four, I impressed these people too much. I, I learned to walk, learned to talk, learned the English language. They're still waiting for something better, haven't had any better sense, right? But to the in-laws, you're the guy that, you're the reason the daughter's not their problem anymore, you know? <laughs> so, I swear this one, my mother-in-law, I can do no wrong. I, I'm going to try this out tomorrow on a, Hey, I'm going to uh, cash in our IRAs and quit my job, buy a bunch of cocaine and an old van and tour the country, sell them to high school kids. Here's what I picked to her response be. Oh, Marcus, you're so industrious. Oh, I'm so happy that Andrew found such a wonderful, wonderful husband. You're going to make an excellent pharmaceutical salesperson. So my wife made me uh, take one of those online tests to see if I had ADHD. Anybody ever taken one of those? If you get all the way through it, you don't have ADHD. Those things are long. Apparently I do. So what I tried to do, I don't do anything to impress that woman, but she's seen it all, and I have figured out it's just to point out people worse than me wherever I go, if I can find it. There's shockingly few of those guys. Thanks, thanks for being here, by the way. <laughs> Oh, look at this kid. His manager's terrible. No, it doesn't matter. Anybody. I have one friend that uh, drinks quite a bit, and I'm not 
judgy about it, but other people are, so they decided we should have an intervention for this guy. I don't know if you've been involved in this, but they told me real specifically, Mark, you need to write down every single thing about how his drinking has truly affected you. We're all going to read it off so we don't chicken out, and he's going to have to hear the hard truth. So I brought that tonight. <clears throat> Dear the Bob, <laughs> here is how your drinking has affected me. I love having someone I know will always beat me for Bloody Marys on a Sunday morning. <laughs> the time you gave the security guard at the Metro Park concert a wedgie? That was most awkward but also hilarious, LOL. <laughs> the time you went out of town to a street dance, forgot to get a hotel, got in trouble for peeing on the cop car, Got off with a warning, but still asked to stay in the jail overnight. <laughs> that is really quite something, even for you. <laughs> the time you convinced, just for fun, convinced everybody at the country club golf tournament that you had accidentally pooped your own pants? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so happy you are a god in my eyes. <laughs> this is how your drinking has affected me. She wanted me to take one of those online tests to see if I'm, I'm drinking too much. And these questions are not Montana friendly. <laughs> not, not at all. <laughs> it's stuff like, do you, do you look forward to occasions of drinking? Oh, fun. Yes, I do look forward to fun. Yes. Do you ever feel the need to apologize for your behavior when you've been drinking? When I've been drinking, when I've not been drinking, a whole lot of things to apologize for. Absolutely. <laughs> The dumbest one, do you ever have more than six drinks in one sitting? No? After four or five, I've got to get up for a restroom break like any other thing. 